Ladies and gentlemen, Ron DeSantis corporate donors are being called out and they are under fire for supporting him. So what companies, Amazon, Disney, Walmart, and we know what Ron DeSantis has done during Black History Month. So political activism is ramping up in Florida and they are condemning large corporations that use Black History Month to denounce racism while donating to Ron DeSantis. Who are these corporations? Amazon, AT&T, Comcast, Disney, and Walmart are among a few of companies that publicly proclaim their commitment to anti-racist values, especially after the 2020 murder of George Floyd. Okay, so, but research shows, and this research was done by the Center for Political Accountability, a nonprofit organization that tracks corporate political spending, shows that these businesses donated directly or indirectly to the 2022 re-election of Ron DeSantis, who has imposed limits on how race and racism can be taught in Florida schools. These corporations can say they stand with the Black community, but then also fund the Florida governor and his work in dismantling Black history. And look at the timing of this, y'all. It is no coincidence that these things are occurring during Black History Month. You had the incident in Alabama where they didn't want um, Black history taught before the 1970s. You had the incident where South Carolina passed a law literally saying you can't teach Black history in South Carolina. And then you got Ron DeSantis and the AP African-American course. Look at how all of this is occurring during Black history. You think these folks didn't time this? You got another thought coming. Of course they did. Of course they did. So they're saying, you know, look at how all of this just like is occurring during Black History Month. And it's a huge level of hypocrisy. Corporations have increasingly taken a stand on social and racial justice issues in recent years and often see Black History Month as an ideal opportunity to promote themselves. Many express solidarity on social media or tout programs within the company to highlight the contributions of Black employees. Amazon, AT&T, Coca-Cola, Comcast, DoorDash, General Motors, and Walmart have all made public statements, they sure have, in celebration of Black History Month. Google posted online on February 1st, learn how Google is recognizing and celebrating Black voices, joy, and success this Black History Month. But the Center for Political Accountability found that each of these companies donated significant amounts of money to political groups that predominantly supported Ron DeSantis. Disney writes on its resorts uh, webpage during Black History Month in February, the Disney Park blog will celebrate Black stories and highlight special experiences at Disneyland resorts and Walt Disney World Resort. Yet, early in the election cycle and before its relationship with Ron DeSantis fully soured, Disney contributed $50,000 to his reelection campaign and $120,000 to the Republican Party of Florida, which supported his program and campaign and inauguration. 
charter communication, a telecommunication firm regularly celebrates Black History Month on its corporate site. It also gave $200,000 to Friends of Ron DeSantis, a political action committee supporting his reelection, as well as $125,000 to the Republican Party of Florida and $205,000 to Republican Governors Association both huge donations to Ron DeSantis. And you know what the funny part is? Disney did all that donating and he flipped on Disney. They are pissed off at him. Well, they got what they deserved. Duke Energy tweeted on February 1st that um, it reflects on influential figures who left an impression And while hashtag Black History Month is a time to celebrate the impact of African-Americans, our commitment to fostering a culture of diversity, equity, and inclusion is a year-round function. The company also gave $2 million to the Republican Party of Florida, which has embraced DeSantis' crackdown on woke policies on race gender and public health. So they're being a hypocrite. So on their website, they act like they're so enthusiastic about celebrating Black History Month. And then they're siding with Ron DeSantis with these woke policies. I'm not surprised. I mean, look at where we are. DeSantis has sought to position himself on the front lines of American culture wars as he considers a 2024 bid for the White House and tries to outflank former President Donald Trump, the only official well-known candidate so far. Earlier this month, the second term governor announced plans to block state colleges from having diversity, equity, and inclusion program, as well as blocking critical race theory, CRT which examine ways in which racism was embedded in American law. Well, yeah, so you, you, in other words, you don't want the truth out there. That's it. Well, I got bad news for you. The truth is still out there. It doesn't matter what you oppose. It's still out there. So DeSantis administration also blocked a new advance placement. We know about the African-American studies, the AP program, from being taught in high school, saying that it violates state law. So he made it against the law to teach black history. And that's what these other states are doing now. They're making it against the law, but but they're making it mandatory for your children to listen to their history. Just think about that. And we know their history, most of it is a bunch of BS but that's mandatory to learn. And no, I tell you what, you wouldn't be doing that to me. You, I don't have no small kids, but if I did, if you can't listen to my history, I'm not going to be subjected or forcing my kids to listen to yours. Plain and simple. That ain't going to happen. This one-sided relationship is for the birds. Mm-mm. It wouldn't be that way if I, if I was in that position today. Oh, no, I'd be pulling them out to homeschool. You're not going to subject my children to your history, but you won't learn ours. No, no, we ain't, we ain't going to play that one-sided BS. Uh-uh, that's been going on long enough. Y'all need to get away from these one-sided things that they want to do. If they can't reciprocate it back, then you don't go along with it at all, plain and simple. So it is so bad that uh, some states like Florida, if you are teaching any kind of what they consider CRT history, you could face felony charges. Or if you're teaching from an unsanctioned book and you present it in a classroom, you could be looking at felony charges. Look at how far they are going to quash the real history. But you got these corporate donors that are backing this up, y'all. 
And then at the same time, smiling in our faces, talking about they're celebrating black history. So there you go. A bunch of fakers and liars. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.